What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd, and today I have for you just, just a little light video, you know, just, just, mm, just a little snack. I'm going to be going over managing happy calls in Service Titan. Now, just in case you're not familiar with the concept, a happy call is a phone call typically done by a CSR to a customer very shortly after a technician closes a job out, sometimes while they're even still at the house. And the purpose of this happy call is just to make sure that the customer is happy and that everything went well and met their expectations. This way you're able to catch any issues before they become bigger issues and before they become negative reviews somewhere. These happy calls are also a great chance to ask your clients directly for a review and to mention anything you have going on such as a referral program. So we have a few options here. This isn't really an area where there's an exact right or wrong way to do things. But at the most basic level, all we really need is a couple of tags. So here in my Service Titan settings, I'm gonna search on the side for tags. I'm gonna go into tag types and I'm going to add a new tag. I'm going to choose to make this tag green. I'm gonna name this tag happy call done. And very important here, I'm going to check off show on dispatch board. That checkbox just ensures that the tag is going to show up on the job itself on the dispatch board, which is where I want it because I want a manager to be able to go on the dispatch board and really quick get a high level overview of which jobs have had their happy calls done. Now I also wanna set the importance on this tag to high. And I need to do that because I wanna see this tag on the job bubble itself on the dispatch board. I don't wanna to have to hover over it to see it. And right here next to importance, if I hover over this little gray eye, it tells me that only high importance tags with show on dispatch board enabled will be shown on the job bubble itself. And that's where I want it. So I'm going to set that to high. Now this box right here that says code, this is what's actually going to show up on the dispatch board, just the short code. So I like to use emojis for this because it gets a lot of information across quickly without making a whole lot of clutter. On a desktop, my favorite way to get those is to go to emojipedia.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. And there you can search for emojis or just go into some categories here. And I'm just gonna copy this happy face here and paste it in as my code. And what the heck, I'll put it at the top of my name as well and then I'm going to hit save. Great, so there's that tag. Now I'm also going to create a second tag. For this one, I'm going to make the background color red. I want it to really stand out. And I'm gonna call this one, happy call done, parentheses, action required. And for my code, I'll take this worried face, and then I'll also put like an exclamation point type of thing. Maybe if I search for the word alert, perfect. Okay, so that'll be my short code. And then again, I'm gonna check off show on dispatch board. And again, I need to set the importance on this one to high as well. And I'm gonna hit save. Great, so now whenever a CSR performs a happy call and everything goes well and according to plan, they're just gonna real quick click into that job on the dispatch board, hit the edit pencil, and apply the happy call done tag. Hit save. And now back on the dispatch board, I can see that that job now has that smiley face with the green background right there. That's my happy call done tag. Now, if a CSR performs a happy call and there's some sort of problem, that's where we have a few more options on how we wanna deal with this. You could create a form and then have that form auto-populate the other tag that we made, the action required tag. The benefit of doing it that way is that you can tie an alert to it. So whenever a CSR fills out that form, then an alert can be sent over to the manager or you could leave the form out altogether, just have them apply that tag and then pin a note to the job itself to explain what went wrong. And then the CSR would just go directly to the manager to get this issue worked out immediately. If we wanted to do it that first way, the way where we fill out a form and then that triggers an alert, here's what we would need to do. First, we need to create that form. To make forms, we go into settings and search for forms and then hit add here to create a new form. I'm gonna call this form happy call action required. I'm going to check off publish and I'm going to make this displayed on the office side only because I don't want technicians filling out this form. I'm going to have this form be one that gets assigned to the job. And then I want to apply a tag to the job when this form gets filled out. And that's that happy call action required tag that we made earlier. And you can make this form however you want. For me, I'm just going to make it a single question with just an open text box that basically just says, what went wrong? What do we need to do? I'm going to check off that that question is required so that nobody can leave it blank and leave the manager with no information. Then I'm gonna hit done and save. Next, I need to set up the alert. To do that, again, I go into settings, search for alerts, add a new alert. The type is completed form on job. Delivery method, email, SMS, or both. I'm just gonna do SMS. Recipients, you can make that whoever you want. 
The form is the happy call action required form. Any business unit, any campaign, any job type. I just wanna know anytime somebody fills that form out. So I'm done, I'm just gonna hit save. Great, so now if a CSR performs a happy call and finds that the client is not satisfied for whatever reason, here's how they would apply that tag. They would go into the job here and hit files. They would find that happy call action required form and hit create. They would say what the issue is in that text box, hit save. And then we see here that automatically applied that red tag. And back on the dispatch board, we see that red tag there as well. And since we set up that alert, now our manager knows that that happened and that there is some action that they need to take. So there we go. That is one example of what a happy call workflow could look like within Service Titan. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I hope you got some value out of today's video. If you would for me, please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.